what did Easy say happened with Cube? Well, basically, Cube kind of it's kind of like what you see in the movie. I think Cube, in my opinion, I think Cube jumped the gun. Like you know, and and anybody like Cube who was like as important to N.W.A. as it was, he was doing most of the writing. I guess he felt like he should have got more, but the thing that I think Cube didn't realize was the record just came out. Money don't just come in right away. And uh, I think Cube just wanted, you know, he felt like he deserved more at the time. And he just kind of basically walked away from the situation. And I think e and was just like, fuck him then. You know what I'm saying? Like, they already had something good going. I was like, shit, we don't need that dude. And they started clowning him after. Like, I even had old tapes where they would call him and everybody in the, uh, inside of Jerry's office, DOC, everybody, they just call it. Because I guess Q was always the pout. You know, he was the pouty guy on the tour with them. He always had a problem with something. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, but he didn't really hate Cube because we ran into Cube a couple of times too. And they would go to the side and talk or whatever, but. Yeah, I remember Be Real was telling me how he was hanging out with Cube and they ran into Easy and he was like getting ready to pull guns out and everything and they just. Yeah. Easy put was, his hand out and you man, know. That's what I'm saying. Like <laughs> it was never, you know, people, them records, people let them records fool them, you know what I mean? Because you think, you know, when somebody talk a certain way on a record that they really mean it, but them dudes, they, they knew who E was. They knew the type of people he knew. You know what I'm saying? They knew that if, if something was to happen to him, what would have happened? You know? Now, Jerry Heller was portrayed a certain type of way mm -hmm. in the movie. Now, Jerry Heller was at Ruthless while you were at Ruthless. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what was your perception of Jerry? Jerry was cool. Jerry was the go-to guy. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jerry is the one who issued all the checks for everybody. Um, anytime you had a situation at home or anywhere, Jerry would be the person who we would call. Like one time I went to jail for drugs. So when I had to call, I had to call Ruthless. Easy ain't gonna answer the phone. If you call Ruthless, Easy not sitting at Ruthless Records waiting on the waiting to take calls. He'll go, do what he have to do, and he'll leave, because he got a life. Jerry would be there. So Jerry would he helped all of us. You know what I'm saying? Like in times of need. Like Jerry was the go-to guy. He was cool. I've heard it both ways. Mm -hmm. uh, Michelle A spoke very highly of Jerry Heller. In the beginning, no, it was beautiful. Sure. We wanted to get up and go to the studio. We wanted to go see Jerry today. You know what I mean? He just took good care of us. I mean, they could say what they want. I mean, yeah. you know. Arabian Prince said that Jerry Heller was robbing everybody and he left. I made more money as a solo artist because at least I was getting my money direct. I might not sell a million copies, but all the money was coming to me and I can't even get enough money to pay my rent or to pay my car payment because I got to go through these hoops back and forth and you know with Jerry and trying to figure out what was up with our money. You know, I've also heard you know from Bone Thugs that at the end Easy ended up firing Jerry. He did. We went to the office one day to pick up some money and you know she was like y'all y'all wait right here because Jerry is not so happy in the office right now. You know, and, and she and he was like, she was like, y'all just wait right here because you know, Easy just fired him. Right. And we was like, damn. See, there was a situation with some guys from um, the Nation of Islam that came to the office one day when we happened to all be there, and they walked in the office unannounced. Nobody know they're coming, and Jerry was sitting in Easy's office talking, and uh, they just went to the door and was like, we need to talk to you right now. It's Jerry. So I'm, yeah, so I'm reading the magazine. I'm looking. I'm like, what the fuck? They go inside the conference room. They was in there for probably about two hours. Came back out, and after that, I think Easy started looking at his books real carefully. And from from the day when we was in the studio, the day that uh, his lungs collapsed on him, he had Manila envelopes with paperwork. He kind of like, he was showing me and Donovan Smith. Donovan, Donovan Smith was the guy who owned the studio that they recorded at in Torrance. Yeah. And he was showing us papers like uh, money missing, uh, Jerry threatening to sue him after he fired him and all these different types of things. So my discrepancy with Jerry came, out, came around that time once I kind of, you know, heard that information. That's when I kind of like felt like maybe Jerry had something to do with him dying so fast. That's how I felt. You know what I mean? You felt Jerry. <clears throat> that's what I, initially, that's how I felt. Yeah, for real. 
I really felt like that. You know what I mean? But the more and more, uh, the more and more information I gathered, I, f I, I found out that no, nah, he didn't. But I did initially feel that way, yeah. Well, Jerry got rich with Easy. Absolutely. And I mean, depending on, I mean, you could look at it different ways. You could say that without Jerry Heller, there'd be no Ruthless. Absolutely. You could say, well, no Easy would done on his, on his own anyways. You, you, never you never know. know. You never know. You never yeah. know. If, if it was a fifth, we'd all be drunk, right? <laughs> right, exactly. Exactly. You, you, you never know. But Jerry was the one that helped connect the dots initially Absolutely. for their deal and, and everything else like that. I, I definitely knew about that. Um, was Tamika in the picture near the end? We didn't know Tamika, man. We never, we never met this lady. Okay. She didn't pop out until after he was in the hospital. But we knew that he had some girl he was like head over heels about, you know what I mean? Because a lot of times when I talked on the phone, he would be with her somewhere. And, uh, but he never like exposed her, you know what I mean? She popped out at the end. And once he passed, she came and basically turned the company upside down. She let all the artists go. She kept Bone, you know what I mean? Because they still was contractually obligated. And she put their last few records out or whatever, but she kind of like shitted on everybody. The family included, yeah. Right, I'd heard that the kids didn't really... Nobody, you know, nobody got eye to lot. eye with her. Yeah, I, I remember, and I've told this story on film a couple of times. When I went to go interview Lil Easy, mm -hmm. like we were in a very active area when we were doing this interview to the point where he had, he had to tuck in a gun and he kept looking over his shoulder mm -hmm. the entire interview, which was like really crazy. Right, you, right. you see what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the whole time I'm thinking like, this is easy, easy all the son. Right. Like he, he should be why chilling is he in right that now. Situation? Yeah, right. like like why 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 are you right. why do you have a gun tucked right. in right now? Right. And I remember I was talking to his sister about it. He goes, well, you know, little Eric ain't no punk. And I'm like, it ain't really ain't about being a punk. That. It's about you're in a dangerous place, right? Like you, like Man. like basically, I felt like a drive by was gonna happen at any moment yeah, right yeah. now where I was. And, and I'm yeah, like, there's no way that Easy's kids uh, shouldn't be in a better position in life as we speak. There's no excuse in my opinion. No excuse, no excuse. So you know his kids? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah I deal with them all kids. the time. Yeah, yeah, I, his oldest, Erica, Eric, which is Lil Easy, Derek, Baby Easy, Marquise, Young Easy. I haven't really dealt with Aaron too much, but uh, those three for sure, because they grew up in Compton too, so. Easy E dies. Mm-hmm. The whole the whole record label pretty much crumbles. Crumbles. Mm -hmm. Did you go to Easy's funeral? Uh, Easy's funeral. Absolutely. I interviewed Yella, mm -hmm. and Yella said he was the only NWA member to Absolutely be at the was. funeral. You were the only one that showed up to the funeral, out of the group. Yeah. <laughs> that, that seems kind of strange. I mean, I mean, some people probably just can't take it. Couldn't you know actually take it? You never know. You know, I don't know. What the reasons they are, we never talked about it, even to this day. All the other celebrities came, except them guys. They, were, they did not show up. And you know, it's so funny to me now that uh, all these dudes screaming that they had so much love for him. You know what I'm saying? And they're using his name and bigging him up. And maybe, you know, somewhere inside them, they, they probably do really love him because without him, they wouldn't be who they are. But at the same time, how you don't go bury your homeboy? You know what I mean? That's like not going to bury your mom or, or your grandparents or something. Like, it just don't make sense to me. Well, man. how come Ren didn't show up? That's the weird thing. People Ren don't was still, know. Ren still was feeling some type of way. You know what I'm saying? Ren, I think Ren had an issue as well after everybody left. I think Ren really had an issue because one time he came out on Box Talk and he was like, well, I think uh, N.W.A. should just me, be me, Dre, Cube, and Yella. You know what I mean? So he was having this little issue because Ren wasn't around. He wasn't hanging with us. He wasn't touring with us. He wasn't at the spot because we had a spot that we kicked it. You know what I'm saying? It was a house in Norwalk where this is when we ain't touring, this is where we at. Just chilling, drinking, smoking, doing our thing. Ren wasn't around. I didn't see Ren. Let me tell you when I seen Ren. When they did the... Uh, What's that one song that ba da ba ba easy ba da when they shot that video for him? That's the first time I seen Ren in the flesh. I never seen him at the office. He, he was Nothing. signed to Ruthless the whole he time. He was still signed to Ruthless. Right. 
So, you know, I guess he, you know, he had his issue too. So uh, maybe he just was like, maybe he was feeling some type of way. I don't know. So basically, it was just Yella. Was Yella, Yella around was during the, this time? Yella was there all the time. All the time. Yella stayed down. I got so much love for Yella. He stayed all the way to the end, yeah. Right, I heard he was actually, when he got the call from Easy, he was actually at Easy's house filming a porno. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know what sparked that whole little porno uh, thing when he got into it, too. Oh, what sparked it? Because we, uh, we was on tour, we was in Philly. Some ballers from Philly had invited us to a party. And when we get up to the party, it was a, it was a suite on the last, on the highest floor in the building. We get inside there and there was all these little college girls who had their side gig, you know, with throwing these kind of little freak parties or whatever. Yeah. And uh, we walked inside, man, and it was so much going on. And I think that kind of like sparked something in Yellow. And after that, he started doing a little porn. He started doing a little porn films and shit. But yeah, I think it was that day. It was that day. Okay. Yeah. And he went on to do a bunch of films. And yeah. I never seen that. Um, I wasn't tripping on all that. But uh, okay. Yeah. Is it a diss or is it not a diss? Nah, it ain't a diss. It's just me staying facts. Like, letting you know, like, that that ain't something that we honor. Like, we, ain't, we don't joke about that. Like, we done lost homies over that shit. So, it just letting you know I'm staying facts. Like, we never even, he didn't care about that, man. Like, oh, but he was doing a diss record. He yeah, I mean, he, he I mean, of course, because <laughs> you got to understand, Easy's a smart man. You know what I'm saying? And he always, he always was looking for a way to, to gain something from publicity. 